Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us and welcome to our premier inaugural very first virtual press conference of the Green Party of the United States 2020 Presidential Nominating Convention. This is an experiment for us and probably for most of you. So before this gets started, I want to go over a few points. All the press is muted when you come in so that we can minimize extra noise and distraction. The moderator, when we get started, will introduce each speaker in turn and they will speak and then the moderator will open the floor for questions. If you want to ask a question, please use the raise hand function in the Zoom application or type a question into the chat area. If you're not sure where that is, look in the bottom of your screen and you should see a chat icon you can click. If none of that works, just raise your hand and wave it around as you would in an in-person conference. Just be aware we might not spot that as easily. When the moderator calls on you, you will be asked to unmute. You'll get a prompt and then you can unmute on your end and you'll remain unmuted for your question and any follow-up. One of us may just read questions posted in the chat for the sake of convenience. Also note, if someone runs into a problem with bandwidth, poor connection, you may be dropped either by the application itself or by us, a hazard of the application, unfortunately, but we can't uh, do anything about that. Also, I want to remind everyone that more information about the Green Party, the convention, and where you can watch it and other public events can be found in your press packet and staff press packet. I'm going to let in a few more people, and then I will turn this over to our moderator, Michael O'Neill. In one moment, because I'm getting... I'm not getting people in the waiting room. If you would just hang on one moment, bear with me. Apparently not. So for now, we, we are where we're at. And so I'm going to now turn this over to Michael O'Neill. Thank you, Michael. Michael is the Green Party Communications Director. Michael, over to you. Thank you, Holly. Um, it is uh, an honor uh, for me to uh, be the Communications Manager for the Green Party of the United States at uh, my very first uh, presidential nominating convention in that capacity. I have had the pleasure of serving as a delegate to uh, previous presidential nominating conventions, uh, both in 2012 and 2016, where we uh, nominated Dr. Jill Stein uh, as our presidential nominee. Uh, and so uh, this has been just a, a entirely unique situation, producing this convention in this uh, global pandemic scenario. And uh, we'll be speaking about some of the challenges that that has produced for us and how we've overcome them. And to speak to that issue, I'm really pleased uh, that we are joined by Treron Cruz, who is a member of the steering committee of the Green Party of the United States. He's one of our national co-chairs. He is also uh, uh, a member of the Green Party of Minnesota and uh, the Green Party National Black Caucus. He has done amazing work in the uh, National Black Caucus's working group on uh, reparations. And uh, I also want to say it's uh, an honor um, having Traron here as someone who's been on the front lines in Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, in the uh, uprising against uh, police brutality uh, that we've witnessed uh, in, in the past few weeks. Uh, Tama Yeager is co-chair of the Annual National Meeting Committee. And the Annual National Meeting Committee is uh, really the engine of uh, our, our annual oh, meetings, but of annual, course also of course our also presidential our nominating conventions, which are annual national meetings on an even bigger scale and with higher stakes. So uh, thank you, Tama, for being here. And uh, Tama is with the Green Party of Virginia. Uh, John Andrews is someone I had the pleasure of meeting while working on the uh, Dr. Jill Stein uh, Ajamu Baraka 2016 campaign. And it's a pleasure to have him here as co-chair of the Presidential Campaign Support Committee. And he is with the Massachusetts Green Rainbow Party. And then Hillary Kane is another member of our National Steering Committee. She is also the convention co-chair for this Saturday's presidential nominating convention. She is the treasurer of the Green Party of the United States and a member of the steering committee. And uh, she is a member of the Green Party of Pennsylvania. So, uh, Traren, if we can uh, start with, with you um, and uh, help uh, give a framework for the party's perspective and, and how we're coming into this, this week and this presidential nominating convention. Uh, we're really excited about this uh, weekend's presidential nominating convention. Due to COVID-19, we had to have um, a virtual convention this year. So we're, we're, we're really excited about that, that we're still pushing through uh, to hold the PNC. 
The Green Party of the United States was founded in 2001 as the National Party after the U.S. Greens spent the 1980s and 1990s building on the local and state level and focusing on bottom-up electoral ideas of running and winning in local communities and complementing that with races for state and federal office. Um, today, the Green Party of, of the United States has the policy procedures the policies for the COVID-19 era, whether it's Medicare for all, free health care, uh, free education, universal basic income, the Green Party of the United States is the party of the future because we have the policies of the future. I'm part of the steering committee, and one of the roles of the steering committee is to um, handle the day-to-day -day administrative work of the Green Party of the United States also to work on work with our committees on holding our annual national meetings and our presidential nominating convention which um is starting now at the um we also help coordinate uh campaigns at the local state and federal level i'm part of the national black caucus and chair of the green of the national black caucus reparations working group and what the black caucus is focuses on is getting attracting pe black people to the Green Party, and focusing on issues that are important to the black community with a uh, Green Party focus on, on our 10 key values. We also have other caucuses that you might be interested in joining, like the Latinx Caucus, the Lavender Caucus, and the Young Eco-Socialist so we're very excited about this weekend's presidential nominating convention. We have a lot of great, exciting candidates, and uh, look forward to this weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Traren. Next up is Tama Yeager, and as I mentioned, Tama is co-chair of the annual National Meeting Committee, and uh, it's been a great pleasure working with Tama over these months, uh, making this uh, annual national meeting and presidential nominating convention happen. Uh, Tama Yeager, please take it away. So good afternoon and welcome to cyberspace. Um, myself and Dee Taylor, who is the other co-chair, are charged with leading the committee that plans the logistics and programming for Greens at each year's meeting. This year's annual meeting is unprecedented with the COVID-19 public health crisis forcing us to operate in an all virtual platform instead of our in-person meeting which was scheduled to be in Detroit. Adding our presidential nominating convention on top of this presented a significant challenge in developing a system to hold our convention in a way that would be meaningful and inclusive. What normally takes a year to plan was condensed into about three months of intense work. Our team has worked very hard to achieve a well-planned event this year, which we never envisioned in doing this way. Here's a few little information about the meeting. This year we have over 500 people registered in advance for the meeting and convention. This number is more than other years. Having a virtual meeting does allow for more participation since people do not have expenses for travel and lodging and they don't have to take off as much time at work. We have 17 workshop presenters delivering 14 workshops on topics such as elections, monetary and banking reform, anti-war, eco-socialism, party strategies and tools, running for office, nuclear arms, and media tips and tools. We're excited to welcome you and thank you for being here to witness our first ever virtual convention and meeting. Thank you very much, Tama. Uh, John Andrews is, as I mentioned, co-chair of the Presidential Campaign Support Committee and has uh, a, a distinct perspective on the, the presidential nomination aspect of this week and, and what will uh, take up uh, the kind of primary importance of our Saturday convention. John Andrews, go yeah. ahead. Thank you, Michael. Um, I'm the co-chair of a committee, the Presidential Campaign Support Committee, that uh, has 31 members appointed from, um, each appointed from their state parties or from a national caucus. And, uh, We've been monitoring and uh, helping with the uh, presidential primary process 
since about uh, spring of last year. Um, and it's about to come to a culmination on uh, Saturday when some 357 delegates selected by 37 state parties and five uh, national caucuses will assemble in a virtual convention to select our nominee for president in 2020 and our vice presidential nominee. Um, in the past year, uh, PCSC has been responsible for overseeing the attempts of candidates to qualify for what we call official recognition. And uh, this is simply a uh, check that they have done the basic things, at least started on the basic things that are required for being a serious candidate, such as having a website, uh, filling out our national questionnaire, uh, raising a certain minimum amount of money and so forth. Uh, three candidates this year were officially recognized. Uh, Howie Hawkins, Dario Hunter, and David Rolt. Um, and we also maintain a 2020 candidates page uh, that contains information on the most active candidates. Um, I'll try to, I hope people have that link. I'll try to find uh, the URL and give it to you before this uh, conference is over. And from that page, you can uh, branch out and see an, a lot of information on the various candidates, not just the officially recognized candidates, but other candidates that we consider to be actively running, even if they were not able to qualify for official recognition. Uh, so we're looking forward to the convention and to everything that follows. And uh, I think it's going to be uh, a difficult but an exciting uh, campaign uh, through the, uh, the rest of the summer and into Election Day. Thank you. Thank you, John, for that insight into the Presidential Campaign Support Committee's work and our presidential nominating process. Hillary Kane uh, is one of our esteemed convention co-chairs uh, for this Saturday from the uh, Green Party of Pennsylvania. Hillary. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to speak today. Um, I think my role is really to give people a preview as to what will happen on the Saturday portion of our presidential nominating convention. John just explained much of the actual nomination process, but the day is not just the presidential nomination. Um, it's really a business meeting of our delegates to the convention, and we take care of some other important business as well. And so the first thing that we'll be doing after we welcome everyone is we go through a credentialing process. And this is where we make sure that the delegates who are, you know, sort of in the room, so to speak, in our virtual room are the right people and are properly credentialed to represent their various state parties and caucuses. Um, once that gets approved, we'll move on to our platform process. Um, we will be updating and hopefully, you know, approving our 2020 platform, which outlines all of our positions and strategies for implementing our 10 key values. I mean, this is really the bread and butter of the Green Party and what sets us apart from all the other political parties is our deep commitment to so many important issues that we care about. Sharon mentioned some of them at the beginning. Um, so things like, you know, in this time, reparations is something that I want to highlight in our platform that has been there since the beginning, but there will be new updates to our platform that our conventioneers will vote on during the Saturday portion of, of the day. And then after that, then we'll also, then we'll actually do the presidential nomination process. So we'll hear from various candidates who have met criteria to be able to address us from the convention floor. And then we will cast our votes. And depending on whether it's done in one round or successive rounds, eventually we will get to a nominee. And then that person will, of course, give an acceptance speech. And then we have to actually vote on the vice presidential candidate. So that is basically an overview of the events on Saturday. We're also going to hear from, I think, eight to 10 other distinguished Greens and special guests who will be giving us short addresses throughout the day. Um, and that's, for the most part, the, the run of show. I'm going to be joined by Kenneth Mejia, who is an amazing young Green from the state of California. Um, Kenneth ran for office for um, Congress in 2016, being inspired by Jill's run for president that year. 
Um, and is, I'm just really excited to be able to co-host the event with Kenneth and it should be a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Hillary. And we, yeah, we are looking forward to a wonderful day and, and thank you for highlighting that this will be a working meeting of a democratic deliberating body. And so there have been requests from media about, well, you know, what time will this speech happen and what time will this happen? And we've tried to emphasize that uh, having a tightly choreographed uh, day is not really an option because, as you said, we're doing real business at this and it's impossible to anticipate exactly how that business will play out or how long it will take. So people will get to see some democracy in action and we're looking forward to um, provide a great example for what a uh, truly grassroots democracy dedicated party looks like. So at this point, uh, we can take questions for our panelists. Um, I am asking, Holly. Yeah, I'm asking Haryashka Knauer to unmute. Haryashka, uh, thank you for coming and allowing us to use you as a guinea pig for this very first experimental test run. Thank you. Haryashka, <laughs> uh, you have an online radio program, am I correct? And you're in Arizona. Oh, that's right. Uh, it's a new uh, culture, public affairs, half hour, weekly half hour streaming, and then um, archived in the Gata de Vida. And I've been interviewing uh, Green Party candidates. And uh, I hope I'll, I'll get to uh, have these sort of informal interviews, conversations with more candidates. Great. And did you have any uh, questions for a member of our panel so far? Uh, no, just uh, I'm uh, in awe, admiration, adoration, and appreciation. Um, I do have a question about getting this uh, green screen to work, but this might not be the appropriate place to, to ask that question. Yeah, we're, we're happy to address some of the technical questions offline. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you all. You're doing great, great, great. Well, thank you, Harry Ashka. Uh, thank you for your uh, coverage of this uh, week and, and this Saturday. And uh, for everyone who wants to watch the uh, Green Party presidential nominating convention live, uh, the easiest place to go is gp.org slash live. And on that page, we will be linking out to all of the places that we're broadcasting video to on social media. We'll have it on our Facebook page, on our Twitter uh, feed, and also on YouTube live. And at gp.org slash live, we'll also have embedded live English captioning for uh, folks uh, for whom uh, having a captioning service will uh, aid in their understanding and participation of the event. Uh, we have uh, really dedicated ourselves to making this live stream as, as accessible as possible. We will have a live simultaneous American Sign Language interpretation during uh, the event, both for our participants in the Zoom webinar and the people who are watching on social media. And then, as I mentioned, the live English captioning, which again will be available to our delegates and observers uh, who are in Zoom and then uh, available at gp.org slash live for people who are watching the live stream. So Holly, at this point, um, was there anything else to cover in terms of information you wanted to put out uh, if there were no other questions? If there are no other questions, uh, thank you for adding the bit about where people can watch this. Um, don't know if anyone watching this now on live stream, but if you do now, you know where to check in uh, later and tomorrow. And of course on gp.org, on the convention page, you can find more information about the workshops and other events. So thank you. Thank you all for coming. And this is really helpful because it allowed us to work out a few bugs before we go to further press conferences. We're going to have more of them tomorrow. Uh, Haryashka and any other journalists will have that information in the press packet. And thank you all for being here. And let's uh, have good luck this coming weekend. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, everyone on the panel.